Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Wow. Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right then, let's go rob some fools. It's this way. On me. Ja. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but... No, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. Like it is. These boys got a manner about them. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. 
So I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. Of <laughs> course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Did you see anything? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Look over to the left. Hey, move that scope over to the right. We got men covering the house. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? All right, some tents. <sighs> got a Gavin gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. Hey, we came all this way, so... Can you look again and see if you spot anything? Down by the road, we do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, and then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. 
You gonna make a call? We're gonna hit him head on. You saved your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move? Search him. Huh? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, oh, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction. I don't like...
I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. More about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. That's my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... No, but enough. Me and Dutch... And everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. This Can't law disguise is fooling anyone. <laughs> Good lad. How about you? A few bits and pieces. Nothing that exciting. Not yet. Hi, Arthur. Susan. Hi there. I'll get on those debts. Good, good. They better be. Always good to see you. Delightful surprise. Hello, Karen. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. How is your meal? Fine. I'm so glad. You know, there he is, the proud Englishman. Don't fight other men's battles, boy. And anyway, my family weren't even English. Whatever you say, King Arthur. <laughs> Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. I will. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. How you doing? Evening, Mr. Morgan. Hey, I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem.
We should do something fun this evening. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Evening. Hello. Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just... Looking for a good place to drown you. Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. <laughs> Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> what in the That's world? That's a good one. Arthur, what? are you seeing this? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. 
I hey, promise loyalty, watch the he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, Sorry, how do I know you won't Didn't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. Is that why you like this spot? My lord, there's somebody who needs to go to confession. Yes, sir. Nothing more relaxing than to. some time by the water. You haven't scared them all away, have you? Sets anything right. Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let's walk down to the beach. Hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. Cast one in then, Arthur. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again.
Did you hook him, the big one? I don't know. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. Not bad, but uh, it ain't the one we saw jump out of the water. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm going to head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on. I'll see you later. Me and Lenny brought some guns in. Robbed them off that gang that runs around here. Good work, guys. Arthur! 
We need to talk to you. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill... It's better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. He lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move out. This time. I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. 
is here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunk in Harlem? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. Would you care to? I'm with child, and I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn uh, hands go. up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Get word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Okay, the 
door's unlocked. Oh, you think we're here? Open the goddamn vault! Open it! How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay. Okay. Too goddamn slow! Come on, bitch, hurry up! Come on! Okay. Shut up, bitch! Hurry up! I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. Uh, Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you oh. better be quick. <clears throat> You shut the hell up and stay still! That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Look, look, over there! 
think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is Downs. Yeah. husband's not cold in the ground and you come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the likes of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Running for our lives. Uh, 
Oh, I didn't know. I think he's the same age as them silly girls. Oh, away with you, silly man. Oh, no, no. I was five years younger. Arthur. Ladies, gentlemen, a moment. I just want to say thank you to Miss Karen, Bill, Lenny, Arthur. They are doing their jobs. Rest of us, uh, we should hang our heads in shame. They remembered to rob the goddamn bank in Valentine. <laughs> rest of us, rest of us are slipping. Pride. Never forget the pride in our work. You four, I salute you. Evening, Arthur. I gotta give it to Bill, Karen, and Lenny. They made the right call going back there. It was exactly what we needed. Isaiah. You okay, Sadie? 